a beautiful picture you see from the top of the top of the umbilical tower every once in a while that we pick up. Uh, it's one of the 60 pictures fed into uh, the launch control center from uh, the pad uh, that these cameras to operate right through the launch or as long as they can withstand the searing heat of the blast off. This is Apollo Saturn launch control, T minus two minutes and counting, T minus two. We're now beginning to pressurize the tanks within the Saturn V vehicle. We'll pressurize all of the uh, tanks in all three stages with gaseous helium. As the pressurization builds up, it's being monitored here in the control center now at one minute and 40 seconds and counting. We're Our expecting. status board still indicating all is well. The status board shows instrument units, spacecraft, and all the launch support operations well at this time at 90 seconds and counting. We're expecting a, a decibel count back here of the press site of some 120 decibels. Tremendous roar. 16 seconds and counting. The pressurization continuing within the vehicle at this time. We also have a hydraulic commit that will permit the hydraulics to drive the engines in the first stage. Liquid hydrogen tank in the second stage now pressurizing. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. Our status board still shows we're go at this time. T minus 50 seconds and counting. We have transferred to in power, internal power. The transfer is satisfactory. The 6.2 million pound Saturn V launch vehicle now on its own power at 38 seconds and counting. To repeat, the ignition sequence will start at 8.9 seconds. We'll be looking to lift off at zero. T minus 30 seconds and Don't counting. Don't forget. We'll count Ooh. down from starting T minus 20. T minus 25. Stage is reporting ready for launch. T minus 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 5, 4, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff. rocket has just gone through max Q, and that is uh, one of the first critical stages after liftoff, which of course is the most critical the stage. flight controllers are reporting enthusiastically that all parameters look good. We're now the here. flight director says go all the way. How about one that? 50 seconds. How about that? The Saturn has done it again. Right on time, precisely on time, except our clock stop. miles down range. Two minutes coming up on uh, staging. This is separation Booster of the first stage. Says he's go on all sources. The inboard engines have cut off. The inboard engines have shut down at approximately two minutes eighteen seconds. The first engine uh, cuts off. No reports yet on the outboard engines. There it is. There's the staging. Outboard engines. We can see it visually. Outboard cutoff was called at two minutes thirty-four seconds. Beautiful. And you see the first uh, stage dropping away. The S2 has ignited. Thrust is okay on the S2. The booster says we've got a good second stage. 
They're 64 miles downrange, uh, velocity approximately 10,000 feet per second. Second plane has separated the interstage surrounding the second stage engines, and the tower has jettisoned. We saw that. You saw it on that long-range camera. The tower jettisoned right on time. We're three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. At this point, uh, the flight is about 50 miles downrange, 100 miles high, and you're seeing it very clearly on that Igor camera, despite some cloud cover. You can see the rocket, uh, the escape rocket, still dropping behind up there. Flight Dynamics says, uh, in response to the flight director's question, we're real good. That's Flight Dynamics, and the uh, plots here certainly back him up. This, uh